Welcome to The Know, I'm Ashley Jenkins. I'm John Rice. Get that N7 armor ready, Space Explorers are, I mean, I guess it's not really N7 armor anymore. They changed, now it's like G1 or something, which I'll never get used to. But one week ahead of schedule, we've got a brand new teaser for Mass Effect Andromeda. It's a post-Halloween miracle, because those happen. <laughs> uh, many were expected to have zero Mass Effect news until Bioware's official N7 date next Monday, but it looks like they decided to screw with us a little a bit early before the big reveal. Nothing we like more than getting screwed with just a little bit. Only this early, though. very brief one-minute teaser doesn't give us a whole lot to go on again, which seems to be a major theme with Mass Effect Andromeda, but it does give us a few more hints about the setting for the next volume in the Mass Effect series. The whole tease is simple enough and on brand for what we've seen of the game so far. Pretty shots of space, a uh, swelling score, nostalgic feelings about Earth, and super inspirational speeches about the reach and determination of man. Which none of us buy. Yep, trying to find his place in the universe. Pretty big ambitions for a game about space sex. And you wanna, I mean, that's really what you do, right? Like that's what the game is about is banging aliens. Just fuck. However, the trailer does give us something more specific about when it takes place in the Mass Effect time. When you have sex. Right, exactly. The dramatic voiceover at one point reads, but the time has come to prepare ourselves for a future beyond the Milky Way. A future that begins 600 years from where we stand in a time and place among unknown stars and unseen dangers. Cool. So you could bang in 600 years in the future. <laughs> Just gotta wait, okay? Um, we've always known the game would center on humanity trying to find a new home in the Andromeda Galaxy, but the relation to the previous Mass Effect games has been a little more uncertain. But now we know that many of its events take place 600 years from now, far beyond the events of the Mass Effect series proper. The original trilogy is set in 2183, all taking place within the Milky Way Galaxy. So that means that Andromeda takes place around 400 years or so later, and much of that time difference probably has to do with the time lost while journeying there without the assistance of relays. Cause you know, it's that really cool science thing where the closer you get to the speed of light, the slower time goes for you. So we could be having these conversation and outside of us years go by. Yeah, and then we lose Matt Damon on a planet and have to go get him. I'm down with it. Yeah. In the original trilogy, the relays were set up to transport beings throughout the Milky Way, considering Andromeda's about 2.5 million light years away, it stands to reason it's going to take at least a little while to get there. Yeah. Uh, so this is fueling more speculation that fans have had for a while now, namely that Mass Effect Andromeda is set both before and after the original Mass Effect games end. That would be possible if somehow it's set up that the mission to find a new home is given to the main character just before the end of the previous series, which actually seems likely given what we know. It makes sense. Last year, the teaser released by Bioware on N7 Day contained a speech given to the new Explorer by Commander Shepard, so that also indicates that Shepard is at least still around when this mission kicks off. Uh, she certainly made it seem clear you'd never be returning to Earth, so that would fall in line with a centuries-long time gap. Presumably, no time will pass at all for the travelers. Or very little time, much smaller time, not 400 years time. Yeah. Uh, Bioware has even hinted about this in the past, specifically regarding whether or not your galaxy changing red, blue, or green antics. <laughs> would be reflected in Andromeda. That's a terrible laugh. Well, it's because it's, it's not like you don't, you don't want to laugh because other people will get really mad. People do not like the color of that noise. Uh, but speaking with Eurogamer, Bioware studio boss Aaron Flynn said, We acknowledged it in the endings of Mass Effect 3, and I think that's where we want to leave it for now. We want this to be a new story, and it would be very hard to say it's a new story, but also that you need to understand how the past trilogy ended. Yeah, they're, they're really running away from dealing with that ending. You, you really can't blame them. I mean, the change.org petitions alone. Yeah, they've decided to fix that by literally going another galaxy to like avoid it. I'll take um, it. I'll endings take it. aside, today's new trailer also seems to have the same figure in the N7 armor that was seen in the E3 2015 trailer for Andromeda, which, interestingly enough, is different from the game's primary protagonist. According to some comments made by Bioware after the PlayStation 4 Pro meeting, Andromeda stars two siblings, a brother and sister, surnamed Ryder. And the character seen in the E3 2015 trailer, and from the looks of it, today's teaser as well, may be their father. As for how that plays out in the actual game, it certainly sounds interesting because both of the writers are canon. Creative director and Mac Walters confirmed the family ties to Eurogamer this fall, saying they both exist in the game world at the same time. If you're playing as the female writer, your brother is out there somewhere in the universe. Doing stuff and being productive. <laughs> Judging from how the trailer was presented, I'm probably banging aliens. Yeah. <laughs> so we're presuming the voiceover we hear is done by writer. Senior, the father. He starts the journey, but somehow his children become the main characters for the next adventure. So either they start with him right at the outset, or they're the second generation of new settlers in the Andromeda galaxy, or 
he's the one who leaves and they're the ones who arrive, kind of like the TV show Ascension. Well, we'll have to see. Both are pretty cool possibilities. We'll just have to see how all the family drama plays out. It would definitely add more of a personal flavor to Andromeda that the first games just don't really have because Shepard starts off as blip. And that's about it. Yep. And really, there's not much else that we know about Andromeda. There have been some previous leaks, of course, giving us some other teases and clues about what we'll be doing on our search of the new galaxy, including that we'll actually get first person control of the ship this time around. Yeah, you'll still be able to fast travel to different destinations, but it seems that a key part of the game revolves around first person space flight to discover new planets. While traveling those planets, you'll encounter other species who are also looking to settle or get resources from the same system. So hopefully, Hopefully we're not looking at No Man's Andromeda. That'd be bad. Like really, really bad. 18 quintillion planet bad. Don't do it. Um, and that's all we really got at this point. That's the re that's the reliable besides a brief sort of uninspiring look at some real gameplay during the PlayStation 4 Pro event back in September. But that was more of a tech showcase than a, a gameplay one. Right. Uh, so far, Bioware and EA have sh been pretty shockingly light on details considering it's already supposed to have been out by now, originally. <laughs> uh, but we'll presumably get more details on actual N7 Day next week, including some more substantial gameplay, story information, and hopefully a firm release date. Man, that'd be kind of cool. I know, it's um, so exciting. All we know at the moment is that Andromeda is set for a Q1 2017 release following a delay that happened earlier this year. However, the appearance of a recent art book listing for Andromeda may have leaked a March 21st launch. Uh, that would put it coming out around the same time as Nintendo Switch. Although there won't be a version on that platform, sadly. Yeah, if you're really itching for more details, the trailer ends with a call to give your email address to EA's marketing team. Uh, although it might allow you to get some early access to the game's beta, as the site says, registered recruits will be among the first contacted to receive critical mission information. So you can decide if that's worth it for you. Critical mission spam. Um, but whether or not it is, you can join the rest of us in waiting not so patiently for Bioware to finally divulge everything we've been waiting for next week on November 7th. And I swear to God, if they just announce the game again and they don't give us the details, I'm gonna riot. There'll be hell to pay. Yeah. So what do you guys think of the new Mass Effect teaser? Let us know in the comments. For future updates on Mass Effect Andromeda, remember to like this video and why not subscribe to the know. I know what the bad guy is in Mass Effect. The bad guy is the universe. Okay. Well, yeah, because like... I know what the protagonist's name and, is. Well, I mean, you know, no one... Sean? I mean, no one gives... Sean. <laughs> Sean. And his name was... No one will correct Sean. <laughs> Sean Shepard.